Θα ήθελα πρώτα απ' όλα να πω ότι η Ελλάδα είναι μια ειδική περίπτωση. Well, I'd like to start by saying that Greece is a special case. You have to remember that in the EU there are different cases, different sets of circumstances, and they all have to be taken on board. You can't just have a one-size-fits-all solution. And you've got to think about unemployment. You have to be quite clear, our strategy under the Stability Pact was that we tried to observe the cr convergence criteria which applied to everyone in the same way, the same criteria when it came to debt and deficits, etc. However, in the past, there was no set of criteria which took on board the social situation, in particular unemployment in a country. Now, during the crisis, obviously, there was a very high level of unemployment in Greece. Before the uh, crisis, we had lower unemployment than Germany. But during and after the crisis, we had a lot more unemployment. And I'm sure that that was clearly also the case for other countries in the southern part of Europe. Unemployment is now being reduced, but there is still high unemployment amongst young people, in particular long-term unemployment. And it makes it very difficult to reintegrate the long-term unemployed in the market. Now, on many occasions, I've advocated the use of greater funding when it comes to dealing with unemployment, so that we would start having programs for education and retraining. And I think it has to be quite clear that when it comes to the economy, we do have a lot already. But if we're going to combat unemployment, we need more programs, and we need to approach things in different ways. The European Union has to recognize, as I've said, that there are very great differences in the situation on the labor markets of the different member states. And social and labor law have to be applied to all. There has to be social protection, even for atypical working conditions. I mean, they have taken on a new dimension in Europe today. And if you have people who have worked atypically and become unemployed, they don't have any real rights at all. And that's not particularly efficient. Women and young people are particularly badly affected by these things. And this type of unemployment undermines our system as a whole. So we've got to be aware of that. And you have to deal with this phenomenon in the correct way to ensure that you do get convergence so that you don't have these differences in Europe and in the different member states. Thank you so much, despite the many challenges that your country is facing and has been facing. Thank you for, for summarizing up your efforts uh, in this regard, regarding job creation, but also the future of work uh, in the allotted time. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Prime Minister.